Hello, hello, Bethany here with Just Be Scrap. Welcome. I am back to share an, another junker. This one actually is an older one. I made this one about a year and a half ago when I first learned um, Nick the Booksmith's um, technique on making the hardback tomes. Um, I bought her course and learned it, have made several over the year, year and a half that I have had that. And uh, so this was one of my first ones I ever did. Um, I love it. It is very, I guess, elegant, if you will. It's kind of a dusty rose. Um, I used a Tim Holtz stencil on the cover, um, that floral pattern. I used a cream, a metallic cream, to kind of take up those highlights of that stencil so all the raised areas are, you know, have that bit of sparkle to them. It's just gorgeous. Um, and then with the cream seam binding ribbon, it just really sets it off. On the spine, I used a braided trim um, to make it look like one of those collector books that you'd find in a swanky library, <laughs> some private collection, if you will. Um, this one is, I think, roughly two, three, four. He's about six and a half, and maybe by five, I think, is what he ends up being. Um, I refer to all of my junkers as he's. I don't know why. This one clearly is not a he, but I just, for some reason, that's just what my brain goes to. On the um, covers, the inside cover page, I have a Tim Holtz page paper. It's uh, one of his original paper packs from years ago. Um, on that, I just stitched on a piece of burlap trim to give it kind of a belly band of sorts, a tuck spot. Um, there are four signatures in this junk journal. And they have, the start of each signature has this real delicate uh, lace trim just stitched onto the front of its signature. And then we just go through and we'll find an, an, eclectic, uh, an eclectic sorts, yes, of papers. I think that's how I want to phrase that. It's very eclectic. There are lots of those fun pages. So... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I have some envelopes in here, so there's a spot here you could put something in, and then the tuck spot from the envelope being upside down, um, a time card, course notebook paper, another time card, there's the other half of that envelope for another tuck spot, or a hidden spot, if you will, um, so just random pages. Um, I have a lot of these where it's like the week because it gives me every day of the week. I like those types of pages. I just I don't know why. Um, of course, the uh, mandatory dictionary, which I did turn into a tuck spot as well on the side here. I have a bit of a doily there, just a paper doily. Some um, graph paper. More of that doily. So yeah, and this one was an old um, calendar. It had um, the words for every day, just to extend your vocabulary. I love it. I also like that it gives me places to write to-dos. So I put one of those in here. Um, that's an airmail envelope. Same thing as the other one. It's got the end cut open and then there's a tuck spot right there. I've added in bits and pieces. I don't add a whole lot to the book itself because I figure the inside is um, your domain. So whatever you want to do with the inside. I will add bits and pieces here and there though just so it's not totally empty when you receive it. So um, on this one right here I actually cut down the, the divider tab pages, I cut one down to size because I really like the tabs. Um, and I could make tabs just as easily, but it's kind of fun using the paper. Um, here's an airmail envelope, and right here I just stitched a little bit of crochet shrimp. A um, 
craft paper. This is one of my favorite things I will do in a journal. I love tucking down the corner and then adding a safety pin with a charm. And whatever the charm may be, it doesn't really matter to me. I just like something hanging from the paper, the, from that safety pin. But I just think that's a really cute idea. So I do that a lot in my journals. Um, we get on to the third signature. There's a glassonine bag for some pieces, some ephemera. Another one of those to-do lists for the week. Some more accounting paper and blank paper. This one I will say is definitely chock full of those special um, papers. Um, I don't tend to put quite as many in nowadays just because I find when I journal, I, I like the special pages, but I also want plenty of room to actually document on. Um, I'm, not a, I'm not an everyday documenter. But when I find something that really catches my attention, I want plenty of room to write about it. Or if I have an idea, I want plenty of room to explore that idea. So I find for myself personally, I like a lot of blank pages or even this notebook paper is good. So, and I apologize for the sun rays coming through. We haven't seen the sun in several days around here, so it's kind of nice. Um, book page right here. Um, on the book pages, a lot of times I, when I first started junk journaling, I was like, how in the heck do you write over this? So I just added stuff to the top of it. But I have come to find that if I use just a dry brush and either a cream paint or a white paint or, you know, something really light, and I just kind of brush it over the top, it'll, it'll hide it enough, but not totally that I can take... Um, like a Sharpie pen or even a China marker or something like that over the top of the paint, but I ha you have to wait till it dries. I mean, totally, completely dries, but that's kind of a good way to use those um, book pages. Um, that's the other half of that glass and ink bag. And then we have the final, yes, this is the final signature right here. Another one, see this whole page, that's that one that has the word but the whole thing is just, you know, use it as an idea, maybe as a book list, maybe as a, a, a bucket list. I think that would be a really cool piece. There's another one of my corner folds. And then I clipped in a little card right here. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the whole junk journal. It's, it's nice and sweet. Um, it's a good, it's a good solid size. It's not too hefty and not too um, too tiny uh, but yeah I just wanted to run that through um, show you guys what it is and what it looks like from page to page this is available in my Etsy right now uh, my Etsy account is um, it's just be scrap and the B is capitalized um, you can also find me at my blog which is just be scrap at blogspot.com um, I would love to hear from any one of you. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to get in touch with me either here on YouTube or one of those two other places I just mentioned. Um, I will leave links below for my Etsy and my blog if you're interested in coming by. Um, anyway, thank you so much for taking a peek with me, a little walk through, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.